Transformation basics, you need to know for maths methods explained in one minute. This fifth one is a dilation by a factor of a from the x-axis. Writing this in mapping notation, the original coordinates x, y are then going to become x and then a times y, meaning we keep the x coordinate the same, but we multiply the y coordinates by the value of a. And in function notation, we write this as a times f of x, and the a is outside the function. Now looking at this graphically, if the value of a is larger than 1, then the graph is going to be pulled away from the x-axis. In other words, the y-coordinate will become larger, while the x-coordinate remains the same. So for this graph, if we have the points 1, 3 and 4, 5, after a dilation by a factor of a from the x-axis, where a is larger than 1, the new points are then going to become 1, 3 times a and 4 and then 5 times a. And if the value of a is between 0 and 1, then the graph is going to be pulled towards the x-axis. In other words, the y-coordinates are going to become smaller, while the x-coordinates remain the same. And so, for this graph, if we have the same points, after a dilation by a factor of a from the x-axis, where a is between 0 and 1, we're still going to get the same points, 1, 3a and 4, 5a, but this time the y-coordinates are going to be smaller. Hope this helps. Comment and let me know if you have any questions.